You ready, Tux? Come on, bud. Let's go. Come on. This is my good boy. Come on. Let's go. Good morning, buddy. Uh-oh. The doorbell fell. The camera. Did you get Don to fix that? See? That's how I tell if kitties are asleep. In their beds at night. And everyone else is over here eating. Morris and Panther appeared to get into it yesterday. And Morris came away with a scratch across the top of his nose, which looks like it's closed up and fine this morning. Extra chores for Don this morning. He's down at the mailbox. I got all the water bowls cleaned. I carry them in the house and then I come back out with them empty in this jug of water and refill them so I don't spill water all over the floor. It's a little warmer than it has been this morning, but we got colder air moving in at the beginning of next week, they say. I used um, a delicate bag from the washing machine to put Legos in the dishwasher. And um, they'll need to dry. It'll dry quicker if I put a fan on them, but they will dry. Just tumble them a little bit here today. This batch was particularly dirty, so I had soaked it first and then... I would not use this for one of my houses, but if I did some building project with the kids, just for fun, if I needed stuff underneath in the foundation, I would, I might would use these. We're not doing super great on time this morning, but it is what it is. God bless you. Good morning, Ruby. more cement this morning whenever they have the arm up there and all the lights and the other day when they had that there was trucks lined up cement trucks putting down more cement I could tell the other day they were getting ready to paint and they have painted and they've painted the whole thing so now if they would just get rid of the cones that we don't need so I don't have to look at them every day. That would be great. Kind of tells you a little bit about what they're doing where they've got the, um, got the arrows and stuff. Interesting. They put up a bunch of, uh, wash your hands, COVID safe team, COVID-19 safety steps, wear your mask. Anyway, they put a lot of signs up on campus yesterday. I was noticing too, the mums are not actually planted. They've stuck the pots in the ground. Which I guess is fine, because they don't stay looking nice a super long time. Once they're done flowering, they're done. I've bought them before and tried to plant them and tried to get them to do something and they never I mean never look as good again as they look when they first come home while I'm stopped here at St. Monica's this morning I wanted to note that the energy display on the driver instrument cluster you know the one I told you I had added back well it keeps on disappearing I'm not sure if it's every time I use the beta or every time I um drive or once a day i haven't quite picked up the pattern but i've had to add it back a couple of times again just because i'm used to it being there and why all that blank space off to the side i guess but it's not a big thing but i would appreciate it if they would fix that and i do think it's a bug you know uh if the user wants it blank fine if the user wants the energy graph there good um it works fine with the energy graph there i mean it's not like there's a problem the left side has the navigation or my music up so why do you have to take my energy graph away on the right um but it's just a little thing it's probably a little thing we'll be living with for a while <laughs> 
So I didn't end up yesterday's video exactly the way I wanted. I guess I was a little extra tired and I was late running out the house to Taekwondo and then I was a few minutes later getting on to the Triangle Tesla call. Basically, you know, Johnny's class starts around 7.05 and I'm dropping him off and parking and then calling in for the 7 o'clock every other Thursday virtual meeting. Um, it was interesting last night. We had um, an older couple that were new owners and they had some questions they were fixing to make a long distance trip. It was all good stuff. And we had a, a husband um, that's a prospective Tesla buyer call in with questions. His wife has some um, back trouble. I would say, um, and they're looking to see if autopilot and the Tesla seat and the things that it will do for you will help drive the car so that she might have a little less pain, which I understand because right now my sciatica is not um, flared up on the right side, but it has been before. And I've been like, basically I would be in downtown traffic desperate to get out like on 401 to come to downtown so I can engage autopilot and take my foot off the accelerator. So I totally understand that. Um, somehow my stuff has shifted more to the left side <laughs> and I'm definitely having all kinds of lower back issues. Um, they want to go put hardware in and stabilize it and I might let them do that at some point. I'm just, I'm just not ready yet. So, <laughs> and plus there's no guarantee that after you do that, that you'll 100% be better off. There's really not. I mean, look at the issues Karen at I1 Tesla had after her surgery. So I need to check in with her and see how she's doing. As someone that I know that's had a surgery similar to the surgery that they want to do for me um, and see if, you know, really a year, year and a half, two years after the surgery, if she feels like she's truly better. Um, you know, because I know there'd be, you know, and I just don't really want the downtime of having to go through that recovery. I'm not patient, but we'll see. Um, it's always on the table as an option. So if you hear me say someday that we've scheduled that back stabilization surgery, you'll, you'll know why. But for now, I'm still dealing with it. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, so yesterday's video didn't end very good. I was doing Lego sorting. Um, those Legos were dirtier than normal, so there was some extra intervention required. There were some really great new pieces mixed in with some mega blocks and mixed in with some non-good pieces. And um, I have a big SpongeBob that I want to put back together. And the great thing, it was in one of those bins. And the great thing is that I have all of the fancy unique to that kit parts um but i found out at least i can't find them right now that when that i'm missing a few yellow bricks uh specifically some inverted 75 slopes which i have in a bag i know because i found them someplace else and also a couple of um, black thick macaroni curved half moon shapes so anyway, I can totally fix SpongeBob because I have all of the kit-specific stuff, but I it was going to be a little more work than I thought, and then I put him aside and went back to a bin um, to start sorting again because I was hoping I would find those parts, which I did not, but I'll just pull them out of my stash. But anyway, I'm probably going to do some more sorting today. I will be... Um, Getting the family room in shape for JB to come visit and sit on the couch will probably slide the recliner back over to the other side of the room and it needs to be done anyway and I'm just, you know, there's I've got some Legos I want to sort up in the attic, combine some bins, make sure things are in Ziploc bags. It's kind of on my list. So it gives me something to do while Don's out of town, although it's not him and Johnny this time, and it is school, so I'll be back. You know, I won't have all day to do whatever I want to do as far as cleaning and organizing and stuff, but I will have a little bit more time, so um, I'm just working on that. I've got other things I want to build. I may start working on them also. I'm, I mean, I'm sure I will, but um, right now it's kind of like a little bit of organize my stuff in cleanup mode. So anyway, let me scoot on home before I get there too late and I'm frustrated that our walk is too late. I also don't know if Don has um, meetings today or not. I know he had to be on at seven 
he said, for something which is really unusual that he'd be interacting with people at 7 a.m. because everyone, he, most of the people, his, his actual customers are in the central time zone, not in eastern. And uh, the people from Europe, um, they just usually aren't pinging him early. So, anyway, let me scoop so we can walk. Hold down the fort, okay? You gonna hold down the fort for me? I know. He's like, can I have some more rubbing? That was really nice rubbing. Can I have some more? <laughs> He's such a sweetheart. I did give him attention despite the way it might he might be making you think. So a lot of the Encore Azaleas are giving us that final Encore. Woo! Looking pretty. All right, we've reached crunch season. Not only do we have leaves down, but now we have acorns down. And it's definitely crunch, crunch, crunch. As a matter of fact, on the way into the house, I went through the neighborhood across the street. And uh, right as I was pulling out of that neighborhood, an acorn off the oak tree there at the corner hit Ruby really hard. It scared me. I thought it cracked a window. Um, Ruby seemed fine. Let's hope she's fine. Um, but yeah, these acorns here, these oak acorns, are serious business. We did a lot of talking on the track today. We met up with our friends. We didn't pick up too much trash and I didn't film too much. And we're headed back now to the house. It's uh, to the park, to the house. It's really nice out here. These are the kind of days we were looking forward to all summer long. It's just gorgeous. Not too hot, not too cold. It's really great. I'm headed to get Johnny via a 10 to 15 minute stop at Guardian Angel. And I really only have 10 to 15. It was like I didn't have enough time to do anything at the house, but I don't really have enough time to... I think we walked an extra lap. I think we left five to 10 minutes late. I spent extra time with the kitties. You know, my 45 minutes to an hour, I have some time. It just evaporated today and that's okay. I'm just gonna scan over the Halloween stuff and probably not see anything and leave. Well, I picked up a couple of owl figures. Kind of like the ones Target sells. Probably came from Target. I took a picture. I'll pop it up here so you can see. And um, a pumpkin, pumpkin plates on a little metal rack. Little like uh, finger food plates. It was just really cute, and that's all. I didn't see the fountain I thought I saw Helen maybe going to put out yesterday. And um, no new jewelry. I did check in with Miss J briefly. I swear I was in and out in under 15 minutes, and my ETA to downtown is 12.06. So I'm in the good zone. I'm in the mama's on, you know, time zone. I'm, I'm good. I wanted to say that um, now I have autopilot most of the time. Um, I have not lost the ability to engage it for three days again. So the needs alignment versus needs calibration message that I'm getting occasionally now, it really is occasionally. Um, so it's not been bothering me too bad. And um, I just wanted to say that you know now that I have it on a regular basis, I'm invoking it, using it more and more. And I'm, I am starting to gain a comfort level again with, um, you know, especially on the, the highway stack here out on 401. I mean, it does have to handle crossover traffic a little bit and stoplights, but, you know, I've always used it a good bit um, between back and forth to downtown, just not in downtown on either end too much, a little bit. Um, I'm gaining a comfort level with it again. I'm starting to feel feel comfortable about it. Still, you know, vigilant. Still doing what I'm supposed to be doing to make sure me, the car, and everyone around us stay safe. Um, she did brake a little bit there. I, I, she really has been doing better about not slamming on the brakes for crossover traffic. But um, probably there, just a smidge less would have been good. But I am, I am starting to get more comfortable with it again. It takes, it takes practice. It takes using it. Um, you know, it changes a little bit from release to release, both before the beta went on and now that the beta is on, clearly there are things that change. So each time a new release would go on, you really do have to um, kind of 
trying to get used to look for changes make sure you know the behavior that's good is still there and there's nothing going on that you're not expecting but it makes my drive into downtown better I'm really so glad I have it back Lego sorting started this is a different bin and um, I'm making those cheese stuffed actually chicken cheese stuff bacon you know those wrap things I do and I've got deviled eggs going on and um, I'm busy <laughs> I just dropped Johnny off at Taekwondo. He's got his class where he volunteers and then his class where he learns how to be an instructor volunteer. So he'll be up there for 90 minutes. We'll pick him up at seven. I uh, did about two hours worth of brick sorting and washing at the house. I thought I had the time lap going, but it wasn't. And then uh, I've been working on SpongeBob. I've pulled a couple of parts but not too many, like four or five. It's been going really well. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna finish him tonight when I go home or not. I'd probably like to, but um, we'll see what Don's up to and if that works out or not. Get pretty close on him. Looks like I'm missing two yellow inverted 75 slope bricks. And uh, those are kind of rare. I think there's only like three sets ever that used it, use that brick shape and that color. So I don't know, I haven't thoroughly searched my stash. There's a possibility I could find, find the two that I'm missing. is complete he's missing two of those inverted bricks here and I didn't find the pieces for the arm but I have a bag of these pieces somewhere I just don't know where so when I run into them I'll fix his other arm <laughs> 